am Candice Dupree. I head up the marketing and business development for Interactive AV Solutions. We are the exclusive distributor for Clever Touch throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. Now, I've been asked by a number of our Clever Touch educators um, how they can use our Links Maths tools when teaching maths. So the first thing is, it doesn't matter what grade you're teaching, these maths tools are applicable to all of you. Okay, so I am going to just briefly show you some of our tools. Um, the lessons that I am using will be available in our Cleverstar Educator um, uh, Google Drive. If you don't have access to that, please reach out to me. But I'm also thrilled to announce that CleverTouch have just launched their links library as well. So I will put the details in the comments below. Right, but to get started, obviously I have opened my links whiteboard and um, I now have my lesson on my screen. Right, so some of the concepts we're going to look at today in terms of um, what tools you can use in links will be obviously around our basic um, basic mathematics principles, how you can use a rep repetition tool, how you can use our, our um, shape split tool to teach your fractions. Then we'll have a look around um, features that assist you in teaching measurement, geometry, and then lastly, data handling. All right, so to start off, um, we have obviously our um, basic um, edition. So again, where, whichever um, concept you are trying to teach, we have just brought in an image. So yeah, you could obviously go zero plus two. And here yeah, we've obviously got our little apple. So you could go and ask the kids to come to the screen and now count out two apples. Right. So to do that, um, what we did was obviously to bring in the image, you would go to your insert item, content, and if you are on the connected, you have internet connectivity, you can pull it from Bing, otherwise you could pull it directly off your laptop. Right, so then um, what you'll be able to do is once you've brought in your image, you would be able to then select, so these will be unselected, you will select replicator and edit actually just replicator okay so that when you go into your presenter mode this apple is then replicatable for your kids right so next concept is obviously our shapes our fractions so what we're going to do here is i'm just going to go out of that quickly right so we're going to just delete this and I'm going to show you how we've brought this in. Um, so, right, so what we would do is go into our shapes, select your shape, drag this across. Now, provided you see those little markers, that means you've got the perfect, uh, there we go, perfect circle. So, we'll leave it at that. Okay. Right. So, now what I'm going to do once I've got my shape, I go into my editing bucket, I go into my cropping tool. And here I select shape split. Now you simply hold it and drag it along. Okay. So depending how many shapes you require. In this one we've asked for just two equal parts. So we will just drag it to get the half. There we go. And here I have now half. And here again I can go and change that. There we go. And so you have now a half. And that's how easy it is to obviously use a replicator tool and your fraction. Right. Then in terms of geometry, obviously we've already, um, we've already shown you how you would bring in your shapes. But what else you could do here is um, in terms of identifying is using the shape tool. Right, so using the shape tool here, um, and instead of selecting replicator, all you do is select editable. So to show you how we've done that, the first thing is all of these images are in the background. So what you will do is you will go into your um, little page icon, you will go edit background and you will see all of these are now in the background. So make sure you are in edit background when bringing in your images or typing out your text, so using the 
T icon at the bottom. All right, and that'll put everything in the background. All right, so exiting now. All right, then what we've done is obviously all we've done is brought in a shape. So you will see here we've brought in the shape, right? Okay, all our shapes, you can go and type in them. All right, so there we go. And you can obviously go and set your text, your font, the size, etc. I can go and change the color. So now this is where you can make it translucent, so transparent, or you can go and put a border around it. Right, and that's then obviously is how easy it is to then create your labels. Um, and now don't forget to make it editable while presenting, which turns this into an interactive lesson um, for your for your learners. So what you'll be able to go is go into your presenter mode, and then of course get them to the screen and let them come and pick and choose um, the correct answer. Right, and that's as easy as using your shapes. Then in terms of our geometry tools, so let me go and add a page here quickly. Right, so in terms of using our geometry tools, you'll go into your insert button to content to browse. Now just a reminder, everything in the browse section is offline. So if you do not have connectivity, it doesn't mean you can't use your clever touch or can't use links whiteboard. You certainly can. So going into my maths icon, I'm just going to go go and pick my background. So I'm going to bring in, you know what, let's bring in the dots. Okay. Now, depending the grade I teach, you would select the little icon with your blue, um, little blue square, which is your grid size. And here I'm just going to go give slightly bigger, bigger dots. There we go. Okay. Okay. So now we've got our, our background. Now what we can do is go and bring in our protractor, right? Pinch and zoom to make it bigger. Uh, let's align it to these dots. Right. So let's say we now wanted to measure that angle there. Let's say through to that dot, right? You would measure your angle. You would stamp your protractor. You move this away and there you now have your angle. So now what you can do is you can go and make this line slightly thicker. You can go and change your color, right? We can have a look at the exterior or interior angle. And of course, you can also manipulate it. So let's say we wanted to look at maybe something slightly, let's say the angle of, let's just go back here. Let's say that angle, you could then just drag it, drag it across to, to then manipulate your angles, right? Okay, so that's using your protractor. Then of course we have our compass. So when we look at geography, uh, when we look at geometry, um, so we'll be able to draw those different, uh, different shapes, etc. So here we go. So you can decide how big you want it. Um, once you've got your size, you would then go and let's create a circle. There we go. Bring that across. Now again. You can go and pick and choose um, what you want displayed. Okay. Um, just move that out the way. There we go. So now you can go and say, do we want to show the angle? Is it only the radius? Is it only the area? What do you want to go and show? Do we want a pi? Do we want an arc? And so you can then manipulate that. Okay. Um, of course, we've got... Um, our clocks as well, which we will go into into shortly. But yes, those are the um, tools then relating to to geometry. Right, so now we let's just do this over. Okay, so now we've got our, our background. Now what we can do is go and bring in our protractor, right? Pinch and zoom to make it bigger. Uh, let's align it to these dots. 
right so let's say we now wanted to measure that angle there let's say through to that dot right you would measure your angle you would stamp your protractor you move this away and there you now have your angle so now what you can do is you can go and make this line slightly thicker you can go and change your color right we can have a look at the exterior or interior angle and of course you can also manipulate it so let's say we wanted to look at maybe something slightly let's say the angle of let's just go back here let's say that angle you could then just drag it drag it across to to then manipulate your angles right okay so that's using your protractor then of course we have our compass so when we look at geography uh, when we look at geometry um so we'll be able to draw those different uh different shapes etc so here we go so you can decide how big you want it um once you've got your size you would then go and let's create a circle there we go bring that across now again you can go and pick and choose um, what you want displayed okay um, just move that out the way there we go so now you can go and say do we want to show the angle is it only the radius is it only the area what do you want to go and show do we want a pie do we want an arc and so you can then manipulate that okay um, of course we've got um, our clocks as well which we will go into into shortly but yes those are the um, tools then relating to to geometry right now let's take a look at measurements so in this one we're going to show you how you can bring in um, uh, currency how you can measure a line and obviously look at time right so first off let's go into our currency so here again, just a reminder that um, the South African currency, Botswana and Namibian currency are all available offline through our extra content folder that is on our Cleverstar Educator um, Google Drive. If you don't have access to this, um, please get in touch with me. The comments, our information will be in the comments below. Right, but what we've done is obviously gone again into the background so um just a reminder into your background we've obviously put an image in the background we've put the currency we want them to match the the um images to and then obviously our text right then we've gone and brought in the currency so it will be just a reminder go insert content because i have everything um toggled to the right in my settings I can access now everything off my laptop. So I can go straight into my laptop, into the Google Drive, right? Whatever I require. But here, I'm again just going to go into my extra. Into my extra content browser, uh, content folder. So if I just go here, for example, South Africa, you will see I've got Namibia, South Africa, Botswana currency. And I can simply now drag and drop it across. Okay. Then if I select here, I need to make sure it is editable while presenting. Right. What that means is now if I go into my um, into my presenter mode, I can now drag the money across. Right. There we go. And that's in terms of teaching currency. Okay. Then in terms of measurement, so. Just a reminder again. Let's just go and delete this quickly. So what you are able to do is bring in the ruler. So again, we go insert, we go content, uh, go into our browse, into our maths. We bring across our, our ruler, okay. So now let's say we want to measure the 15 centimeters, okay? I'm going to drag across the blue little arrow until I get to 15 centimeters. I'd like this to be, let's say, green and slightly thicker. So it'd be important to set that before you stamp. Once I'm happy, stamp that. 
and I can then move that out the way. All right, and now I have my measurement. Okay, so that's as easy as it is. Obviously, what we did in the background, again, um, being in being in my background, so going edit background, I brought in a table. So go to your insert table, and you can select your table, right? And then, of course, brought in the text as well. So that sits in the background. Um, that um, that is then not manipulated while you are trying to uh, write over it. Okay, so the next one is obviously time. So now here for the older grades, you can use these as a, a timer or stopwatch, especially for assessments. For the younger grades, the same applies, or you can actually use these to teach time. So they can come up, the little ones can come up to the screen and they can actually manipulate the hands to teach time. Right, and that's using our measurement tools.